eighty percent of customers, because of the pandemic, have suddenly realised that well, perhaps there's more that they could potentially do. But on the flip side, which is that the pandemic has sped the digital reinvention up, right? Because they were forced to. Decisions were made that would have never been made without the, the pandemic in place, right? 3.5 years is a long time. So things that they would have taken years to complete, they did in months. So in general, the difference between private cloud and public cloud is in public cloud, the infrastructure, meaning the underlying, the underlying storage infrastructure, the underlying network infrastructure, for example, they are shared across multiple clients. In the case of a private cloud, normally the, the same IT resources will be dedicated to a particular user. Right? So it's like you have your own data center, only you have access to it. 94% of customers now use multiple clouds and data platforms. They're also coming back and saying is that 120 billion hours a year could be reclaimed through the use of automation. And they're also saying that 90% of the data that's collected goes unanalyzed. If you've got the data, but you're not making use of it, um, it is going to waste. 17% of their IT spend today is allocated. When we ask them if, to break down how they're spend, spending that 17% of their IT budget, today basically they're saying 53% of that is on public cloud, 30% on hybrid cloud, and 8% on private cloud. But interestingly enough, if you look, if we, when we ask them about what's the plan for three years later, the amount of spending on public cloud goes down to 43%, but the amount of spending for hybrid cloud goes up to 48%. So, you know, the, the, the trend is really moving more towards hybrid cloud, right? I think the fact that there is greater awareness for compliance in maintaining compliance for the Philippines actually speaks better for us, right? Uh, I, I think that shift in the mindset away from pure security to achieving compliance, I think, is, is bodes well for cloud adoption in the Philippines. You know, the hybrid cloud platform collects the data, um, does um, some, some manipulation around the data, brings it into automation, which we can then use um, to make more drive more efficiencies um, and then we use AI to unlock the data of the value and then the AI will drive changes back into the cloud platform which collects more data which then drives this circle. Customers have with the digital reinvention and with the pandemic have really gone down this hybrid cloud platform. We've not only worked with customers to, to help them but we've also done it ourselves with the acquisition um, of Red Hat and what that allowed us to do is it allowed us to have a platform which was agnostic to a cloud. It means that you are avoiding vendor lock-in, right? And you've got portability of the platform across uh, all of the different cloud events that you're using. We're making sure that customers have portability and that they can run um, the platform on any uh, any cloud. On the side of this, we've got Watson's infused through all of the layers as well to help uh, bring AI business and, and drive value through the software. Okay, what we've done is we've taken it and we've simplified it. We've pr we have um, produced six cloud packs, uh, which really takes the software and bundles it into capabilities um, that you can then go and deploy and use uh, across your enterprise. And when we built them, we built them using the cloud native practices and principles um, so that they can then run on this cloud platform and be totally transparent and move between the, uh, the cloud platforms. So there is a definite modernization path and a definite uh, way to transform to get yourselves into a cloud native uh, environment. Built to simplify, um, we take the software in a cloud native way, cloud native fashion, we allow you to consume it anywhere across each of the four or three platforms, and we allow you to modernize with ease by taking you through the journey uh, and making it almost transparent as you move through this modernization process. Um, <clears throat> it does deliver three times the capacity at half the cost. So IBM has taken a strategy of working extensively with the open source uh, environment. Um, we want you to have you know, the best of the community um, and we bring it all together um, in a cloud native way and a cloud native approach.
there are four different steps and there are four different things which I'm going to really talk about in terms of this modernization journey. And the first one is, funnily enough, is modernization, right? Modernization consists of really accelerating, integrate, manage, and then the ability to run anywhere. Um, those are four key tenants that we built in uh, to the cloud packs was when, when we um, uh, designed them. What do you do with the data? Okay, Collecting the data is cool and, and we do that with the with platform all right, but how do we use the data? Uh, what are the things that we do to be able to make ourselves more efficient with the data? Uh, and really taking it and infusing AI into the process. Um, IBM has something they call the AI ladder. You know, the modernization, yep, that's the first step. Okay, then you need to collect, organize, analyze, and infuse. Uh, we have a large data science community in IBM who are doing the organize and analyze for customers right now. Um, and, and helping them getting benefits from, from the data that they have. The use of the data, use of automation, um, and transforming not just the application, but some of the business process, or even just the technical process behind what is driving the software is also key importance. Um, huge benefits to be gained. Can we do things with it in a secure fashion? Now, um, the answer is yes. This has not been an inhibitor. Once they've got over this barrier, the adoption and the speed at which they have gone down the digitalization process has been outstanding. Security is uh, definitely a concern, but it's it's not so much of a roadblock and inhibitor as it was 12 months ago. If you add some AI to it, you can actually reduce the risk and mitigate the risk of any security exposure. Mm -hmm.